everybody wants a longer one. But um, nice. what I add in here is many operators believe that simply increasing the length of an antenna will enhance its performance. While lengthening an antenna can affect its resonant frequency and bandwidth, an antenna that is too long for the operating frequency becomes inefficient and can introduce unwanted reactants. Optimal antenna length depends on the specific frequency and antenna design. I've heard people say that longer antenna is better, right? Get the longest wire you can, boy. Get it up in a tree. Well, so so for receiving, right? You're you're basically like collecting waves. I've heard this example before. Um, you know, because it has to harmonize on that long wire. The more often it does that, um, the more capture it's going to have. It doesn't work the same way in reverse with transmit. Uh, the more waves you shoot on, you know, trying to do 10 meters on a on an 80 meter infed, it gets harder and harder and harder to do that. Um, so for receiving, yeah, absolutely. And also, if, this is great too because for receiving, a longer wire is actually quieter. Yeah, what I tell people is, is like for like SDRs and stuff like that, use a long ass wire. I mean, as much wire as you can get out there, yep, and then yep. use like a nine to one. But um, yep. I think you do make a good point because the way that the current and voltage goes across your antenna, you know, obviously has minima and maxima, and that creates radiation patterns that can get awful goofy when you're not close to super goofy. Yeah, but you really do to... want a receiving antenna to still be resonant. I mean, it's going to sound better when it's resonant. And if you think about the, the the wave traveling along the wire, you want that boom right at your connector. You know, you want that that arc of the wave to to land on yeah, your yeah. connector. And that's why you want the base of your antenna to be 50 ohms and then 50 ohm coax and then a 50 ohm connector on your radio. You know, it's and that's the only reason why you want 50 ohms is because the system is designed for 50 ohms. He's shading 75 ohms, Ziggy. Well, no, Ziggy uses his 75 ohm properly. He, he terminates <laughs> right. it. He Boom. Measured, measures it out. He measured it he out. He does. Right, yeah. Um, so I've done this experiment myself where I've used um, uh, my telescopic. Uh, it, it, it goes up to 20 meters. I've used my telescopic, and I've actually measured that there is a considerable loss when that, uh, that whip is not tuned for the frequency that I'm listening to. Considerable loss, like multiple dBs. Mm -hmm. Well, so what's crazy is, is that, um, you know, people say the same thing about uh, short, let's say about short antennas, right? Like, oh, that antenna is too short to work well. You need, you need, you need a longer antenna. And I guess where it does work is that if you have like an induction coil and then a short whip that gets you resonant on 20, or you have a 17 foot whip, the 17 foot whip is going to perform better than a shorter whip in the coil, right? Um, so I think we can agree to that. But if you go to a, um, I don't know, a 21 foot whip, it might not perform better than the short on the 20 meters on yeah. 20. Right. Right. You're too long again. Right. And then your antenna tuner will touch that right up. That is true. All right, let's but go a wire that's to... longer than resonant on the band of interest. Isn't necessarily better than a wire that is as the right length for resonance on the Wait, band so of you... interest. <clears throat> yeah. So you do have like quarter length, qu quarter wavelength, half wavelength, then you have people like, oh, I do, I do three, three eights, or I do five eights, or I do seven eights, right? Like my two meter antenna on my Jeep is five eights. And that does perform better than a half wavelength on two meter. Um, so, but it doesn't, I, I think the gist of the myth is that the longer isn't always better. So I have heard while we're on this longer, better, shorter, not better argument here, I have heard that full wavelength antennas are bad. Is that one of your upcoming slides? It is not on my slides. Well, we'll talk about that next time.